What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede and in this video, I'm going to be taking you all through a meal prep on a budget. I am going to show you how to meal prep three different meals with five portions per meal. So that's going to be a total of 15 meals. Okay. You're going to have to just meal prep this on Sunday and you'll have all of your meals ready from Monday through Friday. So I bought all of this stuff in Publix. I highly recommend you write down all the ingredient lists on your notes, just so you know exactly what you're picking up from the grocery store, along with some meal prep containers, just like you're seeing on the video right now very cheap only three to four bucks per five containers you're gonna need three different sets here I'm just picking up all of the ingredients that I need make sure you shop for the cheapest name brand value in any specific store that you choose to purchase these from always shop for the deals and whatever is cheapest per pound when it comes to proteins After you are done shopping for everything, make sure you curl the grocery bags so you save more money. I'm just kidding. So this came out to be just at about $35, which is an average of $2.30 per meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how to meal prep meals number two and three. Now for meals number two and three, I wanna show you how to simply meat prep everything for the protein sources. So go ahead and grab all the chicken and the two packets of ground turkey that you purchased purchase and start setting this all up. Make sure you have a pan heating on medium heat, preferably two, one for the ground turkey and one for the chicken thighs as well. Go ahead and spray both pans with some non-fat cooking spray and you're gonna go ahead and just put the ground turkey on one pan and I highly recommend using a whisk to break up the ground turkey. I actually saw this on the Food Network channel late at night when I was watching it. Apparently it makes it so much easier so I'd highly recommend doing that when it comes to breaking down the turkey. Go ahead and place all of the chicken thighs on the other pan. Make sure you open the fillets so it cooks quicker. And in just a moment, I am going to show you all exactly what kind of spices that I use for my proteins. I use just a couple of super simple and extremely budget friendly spices. This is pretty much going to be the best way to flavor your proteins with hardly having to hurt your wallet. Okay, so this is just going to consist of black powder, some salt, some crushed red pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, chili pepper, and just go ahead and put all of the seasonings that you just saw on both the ground turkey and the chicken thighs. problem in terms of like the sodium or anything like that. It just flavors up your protein sources throughout the entire week because again, this is very budget friendly. So you want to make sure you make it as flavorful as possible. So go ahead and set up the rice as the proteins are cooking as this will take also the longest amount of time around 20 minutes for every one cup of dry rice. I use two cups of water and I personally use a rice cooker. It makes life so much easier and it's only about 10 to 15 bucks at Walmart. Go ahead and grab something to dice your veggies in, which we're gonna include in meals two and three. So I have a red pepper along with yellow pepper and an onion. So go ahead and just dice all three vegetables. This is going to be included in meal number two. It's going to be a ground turkey base with the mixed peppers and onions cooked alongside with it. Not only to flavor up the proteins, but also to fill you up more and add some more micronutrients to meal number two to in this meal prep. Go ahead and throw it all to cook ground turkey. Five minutes before it's done cooking, stir that up a little bit and make sure the peppers and onions are done cooking as well. Turn off the chicken thighs and the ground turkey. Your rice should be done by now as well. Grab a big pot and you're gonna go ahead and start preparing the vegetables for meal number three that pairs up with the chicken thighs. So go ahead and grab like two tomatoes, dice them up into small pieces. I went ahead and used frozen green beans because it just makes life easier and it's cheaper. Throw in about like two bags, maybe around 10 servings. Put some water, not too much, in the pot. And this is a secret here. Put some ground cumin. This is going to be spiced green beans with cooked tomatoes. The cumin really helps the flavor along with some crushed red pepper, some chili powder. Then you can also put the salt and the pepper after you include the tomatoes. I just find it sits much better when you do that. So go ahead, throw the tomatoes on top. 
the salt and pepper and make sure you just stir this around for about a minute or two. And after it's all mixed in, go ahead and place the lid on top and let this cook for about 15 minutes. Just keep checking up on it. And this should be your entire meal prep for meals number two and meals number three. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you all how to meal prep the first meal step-by-step step, straight up, but I really hope you all enjoyed that instructional cooking food network style video. Make sure you drop a like on this if you did and let me know if you wanna see more, but check it out. We have some meal prep containers and for this specific meal, I'm gonna use the circular bowl-like because this is oatmeal, right? But this is only $3.50 and it's gonna last you for the entire week because there's five containers in here. So definitely check that out at Walmart. But anyways, we have five of these. I'm gonna show you all exactly how I'm gonna set this up. We're simply just gonna weigh out 80 grams of oatmeal, right? 80 grams is gonna be one cup. So we're just gonna do that for all five meal prep containers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Fast forward a little bit here because who in the world wants to see me weigh out 80 grams worth of meal prep containers for five days out of the week? Wait, you, because you're watching this video. There you have it. We have five meal prep containers filled with a cup of oatmeal. So what we're gonna do now is simply just fill one cup of water and throw it on top and then put this in the microwave for three minutes. So it's gonna take what? Three times five. Almost failed math class in college, but 15. There we go, 15 minutes, just straight up. All these are gonna be nuked in the microwave and then I'll show you all exactly what we're gonna put in the oatmeal and on top of the oatmeal. So there you have it, people. After 15 minutes of microwaving, we have got all five days of the overnight oatmeal prepared for our meal prep. So now we just have to set it up and put everything inside. So check it out. We've got four key secret ingredients here, maybe five. So follow along. We have all the stuff conveniently all placed at the right position. We have some unsweetened Hershey's cacao powder, cocoa, cacao, I don't really know how to say it, but we have some ground cinnamon. We've got some peanut butter and some salt. We also have one more thing, so five. Greek yogurt we're just gonna put on top. So obviously, if you can tell, it's gonna be like super sweet and savory and like creamy. And then you're gonna put this in the microwave. I'll show you all exactly how to do it. But first, let's just do it step by step. All right, I'm just gonna take you all through it straight up. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of peanut butter in uh, every single one of these. And I'm just like not gonna weigh this out right now, but feel free to use the weight scale, of course, you know, if you're actually trying to, you know, follow the calories and macros in this meal plan, which I assume 90 percent of you are but obviously this is just for show so check it out we have two tablespoons right hopefully we're not like over exaggerating here because you know how much I love peanut butter put some Hershey's cacao powder so this is gonna give that chocolate powder and only add 10 calories per serving so only half a gram of fat which is crazy so it's gonna be like a peanut butter chocolate you know, cinnamony, salty, and then like sweet with the Greek yogurt. It's gonna be great, trust me. So many of you guys are gonna love it. And feel free to like not add one of these ingredients if you don't want to. But look, we got one serving, one tablespoon. Again, we're just gonna like eyeball here because it's not that serious for me right now. Check that out. And bada boom. What we're gonna do next is simply add some salt. So this is just like the standard El Cheapo kind of salt. Feel free to uh, use sea salt or like pink Himalayan salt. But again, this is obviously on a budget so we're shopping for like the minimal amount of money here but we're still making tons of gains you're gonna be able to lose fat on this it's gonna be awesome so we have some cinnamon right on top on each bowl and then what i'm gonna do now is simply mix each and every single one of them okay so this is where you know the power of youtube comes into play i'm just gonna do a quick little bicep pump aka a forearm pump as well and just mix all of these up and we're gonna see the final product here and put the greek yogurt on top you're gonna love this Let me tell you, as 
skip going to the bathroom in a dot com session and simply just meal prep this oatmeal. I promise your forearms will grow. So check it out. We've got all this mixed up. I completely forgot to mention two things. Number one, you could put some zero calorie sweetener to sweeten this up a little bit while you're mixing it, of course. And then number two, this is thick, a lot thicker than I thought. So you could just simply add, you know, another cup of water if you like it thinner. Because keep in mind, it does thicken up a little bit more in the refrigerator overnight. Because again, you're meal prepping this throughout the whole week, right? You want it to last and it's definitely gonna get super thick. So we have some Greek yogurt, which you're gonna put on top. This stuff is great, super low calorie, tons of protein. And it's gonna give it that flavor. Again, you could put some like cinnamon on top as well. And then also some artificial sweetener if you wanna make it a little sweeter. So we're just gonna put one serving, or we're just gonna put half a cup, okay, of Greek yogurt. And then we're gonna like simply just spread it right on top. So this is like a potty builder's parfait, okay? And I promise it might not look amazing, but it's gonna taste so good. And it's really gonna fill you up. Like, look at how much food this is. I'm gonna present to you all the total amount of macros and calories later once we have everything all meal prepped and meal, meal prepped up in just a moment. But this is gonna keep you full and it's gonna be very, very tasty. It's also not going to hurt the wallet because it's got the cheapest ingredients ever. I'm just gonna show you, I'm showing you all exactly how to make them the tastiest way ever. So check that out. We've got breakfast or, you know, maybe like a later lunch if you fast, all prepped up, which is gonna be meal number one. So we're simply going to set up the rest of the meals right now, guys. I'm just gonna keep this completely raw. All right, raw dog in this, we're raw dog. So check it, we've got an assembly line worth of meal prep containers here. We already got meal number one all prepped up. I wanna show you all exactly how I set up lunch and dinner, which is gonna be meal number two and three in today's meal prep. So we have all of the food prepared and cooked up. We have the right rice. We got the uh, ground turkey with the peppers and the onions cooked in there. We have this amazing green bean, which is the first time I've ever made this. Let's go ahead and give this a try. That is so good. Wow, that like cumin, so good. Tomato, green bean, cooked up in the pan or the pot. Then we also have the boneless skinless chicken thighs, which is going to be paired up with the green beans for dinner. So we're gonna start setting up meal number two, which is just gonna be some white rice and the uh, ground turkey with the uh, peppers and onions. So check it out, we have a cup of white rice, which we're just gonna set up in these meal prep containers, just like so. Bada bing, bada boom, bada shming, bada shmoom. Easy, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in two servings of the ground turkey with the mixed peppers, right? So again, this is gonna be lunch, guys. We're just eyeballing this here, but feel free to weigh this out if you're trying to get the best results possible. Uh, notice there's tons of vegetables in this uh, meal prep diet. So you're gonna be very filled and it's gonna be super healthy. That, my friends, is going to be lunch, AKA meal number two. I'm gonna go ahead and set up meal number three as well, show you all exactly how I do that in just a moment. So I'm gonna start setting up the last and final meal in today's meal prep, which is going to be dinner. So check it out. We're gonna do two cups of the green beans and the cooked tomatoes in each meal prep container here. And this meal is gonna be like minimal on the carbohydrates. It's literally just coming from the green beans and tomatoes, right? Um, not just because it's the last meal of the day, but we're trying to make it as filling as possible. So I figured, you know, you're probably more active throughout your day and maybe like this is gonna be paired around uh, more towards your workout earlier in the day. So it's just smart to have the carbohydrates right towards the beginning. And then at the very end, you know, the carbs just coming from something more filling like green beans and, you know, the cooked tomatoes for flavor is definitely going to suit you well so you don't get hungry, you know, throughout the night. So check it out, we have two cups of the green beans and again, you can just individually weigh it out so it's like actually accurate each and every single container. And then we also have six ounces of the cooked boneless skinless chicken thighs to the side. I love boneless skinless chicken thighs, guys. Honestly, so much more than boneless skinless chicken breast because obviously, has a little bit of fat and anything with more fat in it is going to be more flavorful but this is going to be an amazing dinner again it's gonna keep you full I know I keep saying that but that is like the most important thing when you're dieting and look at how much food this is like 
We have food and every single meal prepared for every single day of the week, Monday through Friday. You have absolutely no reason to fail with your fat loss goals for something like this, especially even if you're on a budget. And if you're trying to find the most like convenient thing for your you know sake of time, this literally took me like no more than an hour to set up. So anyways guys, I really hope you all enjoy this. <laughs> So the total macros and calories in the chocolate peanut butter yogurt overnight oats is going to be listed on the screen now. And then the total macros and calories on the white rice with the ground turkey cooked with peppers and onions is going to be listed on the screen now. And then the total macros and calories for the cooked and stewed spiced uh, green beans with the cooked tomatoes along with the chicken thighs is going to be listed on the screen now. And then the total macros and calories for the entire meal prep and meal plan that you can follow yourself on a daily basis is going to be listed on the screen now. And one more thing as well, I'm going to also include the average cost per meal on the screen in three, two, one, bam! That's it. I know. It is absolutely mind blowing. Look, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. More importantly, I hope it helped every single one of you out. You know, a lot of people think that you need to lose an arm and a leg to eat healthy or like meal prep, you know, something like this. You can lose body fat, gain muscle on a budget, guaranteed. I did it for many years, guys, especially before I started YouTube. So hopefully it helped you out watching this video right now. I would recommend adding maybe a scoop or two of affordable protein powder, something like my protein. That'll be link in the description box down below just to increase the calories by about like 200 and the protein intake by about 40 grams or so. So you're at a one to one carb to protein ratio and you're not under eating. But with that being said, if you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell right next to it so you know when I drop entertaining and helpful videos like this every Monday and Wednesday. Then of course, drop a like on this video if you want to see more meal prep and budget friendly videos just like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will see every single one of you in the next video.